Did you know? I believe this started with the Bop It Shout in 2008. I think it was either 2008 or 2009. Every traditional Bop It, and traditional as in Bop, Twist, and Pull, they don't just have sound tests, but they also have action tests where you can, diagno you can do a diagnostic test on all of the actions. I'm going to do that now. It will involve me doing the test mode. I have to access its revision number again, which means I have to unscrew this off camera because I don't have enough room on camera. I am using my iPad after all. Uh, you, want, you want to unscrew, have the batteries exposed, pull it once. Hello. It can't be off. It needs to have been pulled first. Uh, hold, bop it down. Put the battery back in, wait for it to say solo, pull it. No, you want to twist it three times, not pull it. Pull it for the uh, sound test correction. Solo. Score five. Now you have access to testing all of the actions. <laughs> this is a great way to see if your Bapa game is actually fully functional. It's very common. Every micro series does this as well, not just the original micro series. Micro, R2D2, BB8, all the character ones do this. Pretty much all the original three input ones do this. Like, I don't mean like the original, original bop, I mean like the original three inputs. It's quite common, actually. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, the game, I don't think it tells you, but the game will do an automatic shutoff. It doesn't say, I'm going to sleep, if I remember correctly. It just kind of goes to sleep on its own. But yeah, I have seen people do this, but I don't see a lot of people openly talk about it. I've only seen people showcase it. So yeah, that's pretty cool.